in today's video, I'm going to tell you why a lot of Sunday keeping pastors choose not to debate. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit Food episode. Today I'm back at an In Them Trenches handling that kingdom business, man. Back on the homestead. All praise to the Most High Yah. You see what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, while I'm letting these dogs out, man, for our dog boarding business, you know, I'll let you know, uh, uh, let you in on something that you may not be aware of. Man, there are people out here that have questions. You know, they have questions about, okay, the Sabbath, is it Sunday or is it Saturday? Okay, they have questions about uh, the Torah, is the law done away with? Okay, they have questions about, you know, man, I can't find Christmas in the Bible. And I'll tell you something, you know, if you are walking in truth, you will get to a point and realize that your pastor does not care about the truth because when a lot of these Sunday keeping, these Sunday Nimrod worshiping, uh, idolatrous Sunday keeping pastors are challenged with biblical truth and forced to choose a position to either stand on what they believe or cower down, oftentimes they're going to cower down and make excuses. And the Most High Yah says, you know, fight the good fight of faith. And there is a lot of deception going on in the Sunday Sun Worship Church to where if I say statements like, OK, Christmas is not in the Bible and, you know, you'll get a pastor or somebody in Christianity that wants to give you their opinion, but they're never going to give you book, chapter and verse on showing you where uh, that is prescribed, where it's in the Torah, where it's lawful, where it's righteous. They're never going to be able to show you that. And this is why they don't take the debate because they will lose their congregation. And the congregation is the uh, earning power, you know, how your pastor gets his salary, how they pretty much rob and deceive people, you know, blind through, you know, uh, ignorant teachings. So your pastor, don't expect your Sunday sun worshiping pastor to stand up on the truth. He's not there for truth. He's here to pick the people's pockets. Okay. They're not going to debate uh, a topic like Christmas. They're not going to debate uh, Easter. They're not going to debate that because we see that e uh, the word Easter is an insertion into the Bible where everybody, everywhere else it says Passover. You cannot find biblically uh, a book, chapter, or verse where it tells you how to keep Easter in the way that the Sunday church keeps it. You can't find it, but what you can find is, you know, many book, chapter, and verses for Passover and Feast of Unleavened Bread, the biblical feast. Another one is uh, the Sabbath. You know, you can look on your calendar and the first day of the week starts with Sunday. Look at the top of your calendar. That's first day, okay? You look at the seventh day, the seventh day is Saturday. You know, you can trade, but this is the stuff that these Sunday sun worshiping Nimrod loving pastors will never debate on. I don't even, I, I don't even, uh, the minute you challenge somebody and say, hey, if you love the truth, I love the truth, stand on it, which you can have two people that, uh, you know, love the truth and are seeking the truth will be willing to have a debate. And then, you know, somebody is, uh, comes to the realization and is awoken that, oh man, I didn't have the right information. But a lot of these Sunday sun worshiping pastors simply won't, uh, they won't fight for the truth because they're not teaching the truth. And you have people out here, there's no point in debating or having a logical, uh, concrete argument with somebody that wants you living a lie. They're not gonna stand for it. This is why they'll cower down. We oftentimes see that these pastors, when called out for teaching false doctrine, they don't want to uh, respond. And if they do respond, they respond by having their minions and their congregations to flood the market with videos. And I'll tell you, uh, the reason they don't debate is because they will lose their congregation. 
they will lose their congregation. And if you've prided yourself on your congregation, man, you should be willing to stand on the truth if you have been leading them in truth. But a lot of these pastors have been leading people through man-made doctrines, the commandments of men. And this is why oftentimes when a lot of these pastors get called out, they end up losing their congregation for the simple fact that they won't stand on the truth. You got to think, man, Geno Jennings is in a is in a uh, the entertainment of religion of calling people out. But one thing that he does is when he got called out by somebody that was a Torah keeper, he refused to debate. He refused to debate uh, biblical marriage, refused to debate Christmas, refused to, uh, you know, he refused to debate, uh, you know, biblical marriage. He refused to debate is the Sabbath on Sunday or Saturday, you know, and this is why, because he said himself, man, I, I preach the Sabbath, but I don't teach people to keep the Sabbath. And you can see all throughout from the front of the book to the back of the book, even in the Apocrypha that the, uh, the the Sabbath, the seventh day of rest, the Sabbath was kept. You see, Messiah kept the Sabbath. The apostles kept the Sabbath over 40 times in the book of Acts. So this is why these people are not able to stand on truth. And they have no interest in standing on truth because they will lose their congregation. They will get exposed as false prophets. So what do they do? They tuck tail and hide. The word says the righteous are bold as lions, but the wicked flee when no man's pursuit. Closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing, gun, barrel, straight. Bow.